today we will learn about the short hand notation of min term and max term sum of products products of sum and how to put the short hand notations of sum of products products of sum in the kmap table now min term min term means product of inputs that is number of inputs are added together that is a and b and c bar a bar b bar c bar x y x bar y value value in mean term is complemented means 0 that means x bar means 0 and uncomplemented means 1 that means x means 1 for example a b c bar will be 1 1 0 and x bar y will be 0 1 now shorthand mean term notation so mean term a b c bar x w x bar y bar z bar the binary value of this will be 110 and 1000 the decimal value of 110 is 4 plus 2 plus 0 6 and 8 now in short term notation it is expressed as small n subscript 6 small n subscript n so this is the mean short term notation of mean term now sum of products so sum of products means sum of mean terms that are this is the sum of products binary value of this will be 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 1 decimal value of these binary values will be this so this is expressed as m0 plus m4 m14 plus m15 it is written as function of w x y z summation of 0 4 14 and 15 so this is the mean term um, shorter notation of sum of products now how to put value in kmap table so as we ex uh, say as you said that um, mean term is expressed as m0 m4 m14 m15 so function of 0 4 15 14 and 15 so the kmap table as we know that in case of sum of products it will be y, y bar z bar y bar z y z y z bar and w bar x bar w bar x w x w x bar so here the binary value of each cell will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 so like this these are the binary values and these are the decimal values of corresponding cell so now we can see that we cannot change both of the variables in the consequent column or consequent row so here y bar z then y z then y z bar so 1 3 2 like this so here 4 5 6 7 6 12 13 15 14 then 8 9 11 10 so now we have decimal values in the function 0 4 14 15 so binary value of this will be 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1, 1 term so sum of the products in mean terms will be we can see from this table w bar uh, the x bar y bar z bar w bar x y bar z bar w x y z w x y z w x y z bar and w x y z so now when putting we have the value four values 0 4 14 15 so here the decimal values will be for 0 for 0 decimal value there will be we will put 1 for 4 we will put 1 for 14 we will put 1 and for 15 we will put 1 and all the other cells will be put we will put 0 so these are the kmap table and on this table we have to make the map and we have so this is the final table so here from these two we can map these two and these two and finally proceed with the kmap procedure now max term max term is 
sum of inputs <coughs> that is the inputs are all together a plus b plus c bar a bar plus b bar plus c bar x plus y x bar plus y in case of max term the value will be if complemented that means 1 if uncomplemented that means 0 so x bar means 1 x means 0 for example a plus b plus c bar will be 0 0 1 and x x bar plus y will be 1 0 now shorthand notation a plus b plus c bar and w plus x bar plus y bar plus z bar is our max term so binary value of this will be 0 0 1 and 0 1 1 1 decimal value of these two binary value will be 1 and 7 so it is expressed as shorter notation of max term as capital M subscript 1 capital M subscript 7 now product of sums shorthand notation so this is the few terms few max terms as sum of the inputs and we finally put the AND operation with these four max terms so this is the product of sums so binary value here will be this the decimal value will be 0 1 11 and 15 and this will be expressed as M capital M subscript 0 capital M subscript 1 capital M subscript 11 capital M subscript 15 so it will be a function of w x y z some mul uh, product of 0 1 11 and 15 now how we put the <coughs> max terms in the k map so here as complemented means 1 so we put x bar y bar z bar here and x y plus z here so y plus z y z bar y bar z bar y bar z and w plus x w plus x bar w bar plus x bar w bar plus x the binary values will be here and the decimal values will be here now from this product we find the decimal value then the binary value and sum of the products in terms of mac terms so these are the sum of the products of this function so now when we put the max terms in the kmap table we will put the <coughs> values as 0 so for 0 1 11 and 15 the value will be 0 0 1 11 and 15 the value will be 0 and otherwise we put all 1 in other cells so this is the table and from this table we can see that this is a map and this is a map so we can next forward to the k map minimization of the equation so these are the shorthand notation of mean term max term sum of products and products of sum and how we can put the values in k map table so now you should understand that short term notation of mean term mixed term with putting value in kmap table try with more examples if you have some queries or suggestion let me know in the comment section thank you